What's an unwritten rule about the road that new drivers should know? If it's your turn to go at a four-way stop, then go. None of this wave the other guy through crap. You're messing up the sequence. Green means legal, not safe. Assume everyone is a moron trying to crash into you. Don't be nice, be predictable. What this means is, don't slam on your brakes to let someone else go, drive predictably. Merging onto a highway interstate should be a very active process. Try to match the speed of traffic and fit into an open slot. Don't slow down to a crawl and wait for a wide berth. Always leave yourself a way out. Don't trust a turn signal. Assume everyone else is an idiot. Always know what's around you know what cars are behind you or in the lane next to you. That way, if you feel you have to change lanes quickly you know whether you can or can't. The car with the most duct tape has the right of way. If someone flashes their lights at you, they are not just a dick, they are trying to communicate something. I drove past someone who flashed their lights at me, slowed down a little because I was confused, and just around the turn was a fucking fallen boulder in the road. I probably wouldn't have stopped in time if I hadn't already been slowing down thanks to the guy who flashed his lights at me. Keep your cool. Road rage kills. If it's raining put your goddamn lights on. No matter the time of day. Put your blinker on before you start to break brake. Nothing drives me nuts like people who come to a full stop on a one-lane road and then put the blinker on while we wait for passing traffic. Don't hang out in my blind spot either speed up and pass me, or slow down a bit. If I flash my lights towards you and we're in a well-lit environment this means your high beams are on and I'm blinded by the lights of a hundred suns your car is targeting me with. Also turn your damn high beams off when driving behind other cars, my car's internal light works fine I do not need extra interior lighting. Don't let your tombstone read here lies the man with the right of way. People don't follow the rules, so be careful. Always ignore other drivers or bicyclists when they wave you on to pass, or to go through an intersection, or merge, whatever. You cannot trust them to see everything you have to look if it's safe with your own eyes. Even if someone official waves you on, do a quick check. Daytime driving lights are not night driving lights. The graveyard is full of people who had right of way. Be careful when opening the door after parking. Always look out for cyclists, other cars and buses. If somebody lets you through, you must raise your hand as you pass them in thanks. There's no shame in being the slower car. I've got pride, and a Jeep Wrangler. It handles like the Red October, just get out of the way and be slow and it's fine. A light tap on the horn is a heads up and not an F you, so don't take it personally. Always and I mean always turn down you music volume when you are attempting to locate an address number or street sign. Zipper merging is your friend. Don't be a dick. Follow the pattern. If a motorcyclist going the opposite way taps the top of his helmet with his hand, it means there's a cop ahead, referring to the lights on top of a cop car. It mostly happens on winding two-lane roads where people drive for fun, it saved my ass a few times. Use your goddamn turn signals. Leave the house 10 or 15 minutes early. If someone is tailgating you and you truly feel uncomfortable speeding up, simply move over and let them pass if it is safe to do so. It isn't an ego thing, you're not lesser for letting someone pass you. You never know the reason someone may be speeding, and if you're not a cop, it's really not your job to regulate speed limits. Speed up to match the speed before you try and merge onto a highway. It's written, but let's reiterate that the passing lane is for passing. You're supposed to merge late. People will fight about this but it's the correct thing to do. The real asshole is the one who won't let you over at the zipper. Merging early leaves a while lane open for a mile and starts restricting the flow of traffic way before they merge. From bird's eye view, merging early looks ridiculous. 
Put your phone away and keep your eyes on the road. You are operating a 1,000 pound machine that has no issues destroying flesh and bones. Distracted driving is as dangerous if not more dangerous than drunk driving. Kind of Houston specific but don't look at other people at red lights. People are fucking psychos behind the wheel and it's best not to engage with them. Edit check it out y'all. I know distracted driving is against the law. Spare me. OP seems like a new driver looking for advice so I felt the need to emphasize that. Relax. If you are on the zoom zoom lane you should go zoom zoom. Tailgating is just stupid. If you live where it snows by the damn winter tires. It could save your life. If there is a car in a driving test be kind to them. Florida drivers are asshats. Even if it's green look both ways. It's safer to go at the speed of traffic than follow the speed limit within reason. If you're going slower than everyone else, and people are constantly changing lanes to go around you, that introduces a lot of chances for one of those drivers to make a mistake or fail to slow down in time. The same goes for going faster than traffic. If you're zooming past everyone else, it doesn't matter if you're at the speed limit, it's still unsafe. If your wipers are on, your headlights better be on too. For the love of God, turn off your brights when you're behind someone else. In reference to turnabouts when you're next in line, look to the left. Is anyone coming? Yes? Then yield. No one's coming? Then fucking go. If I go out of my way to let you merge, you better raise your hand in acknowledgement of this selfless act. Edit riddle me this all you nerds who clearly can't take a joke or haven't ever driven in a city before say there's two lanes of traffic, a car up ahead has their hazards on, I could keep going, or I could let the car next to me over. That's when a courtesy wave is appreciated. Cut it out with the merging is the law shit lol. If you are in the left lane, go faster than the right. Do not match pace and for the love of God not slower. You will piss everyone off. Don't ever wave someone to turn or go. They often think that means it's clear. It's called the wave of death. When you're in the right east lane and people are about to merge into the freeway, you should switch lanes to make way. It's not you, it's the mergers. They all suck. Assume everyone else is uninsured, on a revoked license, drunk, high, with stolen plates on a stolen car. If people cut you off, let them go don t push it. Don't cut corners. I've nearly had head-on collisions because people can't just slow down a little and turn into the lane properly. There's always going to be that one driver who's a complete asshole. Slow traffic stays to the right face with look of triumph. It's not a law in many states, but the left lane is for passing. If you're the only one in your lane pulling up to a single lane intersection and a semi is in the lane to the right with their left turn signal on, don't pull up right to the stop line, stay back a bit in case they need that little bit of extra turning radius. If the sun is right in your eyes, look at the bottom right corner of your windshield. You'll be able to see the road line still if you do this. Try to give other drivers as much information as possible. Always use your turn signals, even in a turn lane. People have no way of knowing if you're actually about about to turn or not. It's a law almost everyone, that everyone seems to ignore especially pickup truck drivers, keep right, pass left. If more people followed this simple thing there would be so much less traffic problems. If one car is on your ass, they are the problem. If more than one car is on your ass, you are the problem. The best speed is that which everyone else also keeps. Police will not single you out in a caravan where all are going a bit too fast. Never even heard of that happening in 35 years of driving. Also, it is the most comfortable speed. Overtaking and being overtaken all the time is stressful. Don't loiter in another driver's blind spot. When I first passed my test, my dad said to me assume that everyone is a terrible driver who is trying to kill you. 